Okay, I'm gonna share something which is quite personal and is very weird. It's something that helps me quite a lot actually. But uh, it's something that I do that I don't know if anybody else does this. I don't. I'll be shocked if to do. Is uh, I have come to something called Ishtif lists, right? And uh, Ishtif is an acronym. It stands for if shit hits the fan list. <laughs> And, and I got this idea from uh, watching uh, them aircraft documentaries where air crash investigation and stuff and you know in one of the episodes they were showing that pilots sometimes have uh, this little checklist that they do before they, they set off because it prevents errors being made you know in, uh, in certain parts of their procedure to take off and stuff and I realised oh what an interesting idea because sometimes when things go wrong in my life I don't react in the most logical manner. I can be quite, should I use the diplomatic term, passionate, or I can just get really annoyed. I'm very, based a lot of my decisions on emotion when, when something goes wrong, and sometimes I don't make the right choices. And sometimes I think back, I think, oh, you know what, if I did that a little bit differently, the outcome could have been a little bit different. And I remember one day I thought, you know what, uh, this is after a patient complaint, which I did not handle well. And I thought to myself, oh, you know what, next time, if anything like this happens again, you should do it this way. And I made like a little checklist for myself, like uh, what these pilots do. Like, do this first, and do this first, and do this, and do this. And then it just ensures that in your weak uh, moments, even though you might be feeling or about to react emotionally, you're ensuring yourself to be acting in a logical manner because that list was made when you were calm and think logically. So it just prevents any errors being made. So I'll give you an example, you know, I've got an ishtif list of patient complaints. So if a patient complains and it takes me off guard, I've got like a little checklist to follow, or what I call an ishtif list for patient complaints. So it's like, First of all, don't do nothing. Why? Watch, I'll put a link to another video down here. Why? I mean, don't, what, what I mean by do nothing as in don't react straight away. Then, number two, go to the gym, get the stress out, relax myself. Then, number three would be like, really the complaint and pull out the points that the patient wants to answer to or is upset about or what the essence of the complaint is then it's like the next bit would be me reading my notes and recollecting the events that happened, the facts, putting them down. Then uh, writing a response letter slash content in my indemnity, you know, so forth. You know, they're following the practice protocol or procedure for having complaints. That's it. So how's I go down this list one by one? I'm making sure that uh, even though something's happened in my life which is not nice or feeling of it is a very nice. I'm acting in a very logical manner. It's probably the most OCD thing I do is having to say stiff list. But um, yeah, I've got a list for different things in my life and it just generally helps things progress in a more predictable and more predictable and more logical manner. So I encourage everyone to have a, <laughs> I call it ish tips, I can, uh, if shit hits the fan list for different parts of your life just to make sure if something goes wrong you kind of having a checklist for yourself what to follow I know it's hugely geeky and possibly the weirdest thing you're gonna hear for a while but for the right people it might be useful so I thought I'd share that my secret weird way of <laughs> navigating difficult parts of my challenges in life hey -o.